So there's a 2001 MGF. It's a lovely metallic red. She's just had a polish before it came to us. It's got a lovely shine on it with quite a rare two-tone caramel interior. Goes really well with the red outside, but we'll show you that in a second. This is the 1.8, it's an F. It's one of the last of the Fs before they came the TF with a facelift on the front. Start by having a look at the bodywork. It has had a full machine polish, like I said, before it came here, so it has got a lovely shine to it. There is the odd little trace of polish here and there, which I'll point out, um, but a good wash will get rid of that. If we start on this front corner, there's an odd little, very small hairline scratch here and there. Going on to the front wing. Nice solid arch, there's no rust in there or anything like that. Nothing at all to worry about. It's nice and shiny. I mean, if you look down the side, it's really, really straight. Got a good shine to it. Coming down the driver's side. A couple of little bits of polish there, like we said. You should just wipe off so I can get to it. Yep. There's no rust, no damage, no marks. There is a very small, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, ding, just there. You can just about see it on the camera. It's barely noticeable. But coming down the side, on the driver's side, that's about all we've got to know. Again, the rear arch is nice. Solid, no rust, quite often you get a big bubble here on these um, Fs and TFs, but, but but nothing there at all. It's nice and clean underneath. I have had my head underneath it. It was driven to us, so we know it drives well. I have driven it down the road, just briefly. That does drive well. On that deck lid. Again, that's all nice. There's no real marks to, uh, to note. It does have the rear spoiler fitted. So actually, normally they're a slightly off shade, especially on a colour like that, but that's, that's matched really well. I'm guessing that was a factory option. I'm sure someone will know. Maybe be able to correct me. It has had aftermarket lights fitted. It's not had the bumpers cut or anything like that. It's just had a set of aftermarket lights. You can pick up the originals for about 40 quid on eBay. And it has had scorpion stainless steel exhaust fitted to it sounds quite good to be fair um, but it looks to be in good condition if it's not your taste again that's quite easy to change looking along the back bumper it sits straight there's no weird gaps or anything like that there's no scuffs or marks or anything on it nothing on the corners it's not been used in a car park a lot by the look by the looks of things coming down that passenger side again this arch is good no issues with rust there same on the sill, it's not been sort of ground out or curved or anything. There's no real marks at all to note on the passenger side. We're going to be really picky. Oh, no, that's dirt. Can't even be that picky. There is a tiny little chip on the wing mirror. And that's about it. Front arch again, nice. A little bit of water there. Nice and straight, no rust or anything coming through. Same story on the bonnet. There's no dints or dings or anything to notice, there's no scratches. There's a few stone chips on the front to be expected. Kind of whole point of this car is you stick the roof down on a sunny day and go down a little B road, there's gonna be the odd bit of grit and gravel, but nothing major to note. Bottom lip's good, it's not smashed or anything like that. Headlights are nice and clear, so are the indicators. It's been a MG car, club member's car. See by the badge. Have a look on the interior. And like I said, it's that two-tone caramel leather, which to me, I think goes really well with this red paintwork. Overall, very good condition, the interior. It's done sensible miles, this car, it's in the 60s. I'll double check for you in a second. But again, the mileage re you know, reflects the interior condition. Dash top itself is nice. There's no marks or damages or anything like that. Set the console's good. Coming up the back into the storage area and everything, that's all nice. It's all complete. 
everything shuts properly. Driver's seat, again, is nice. It would do it with a good clean. And there is a small snag here from the seat belt. Um, it actually looks a lot darker on the camera than it is. Door cards are nice. No marks or anything, they've not been kicked. Repeatedly when someone's getting in and out of the car. Passenger side, the seat's very good. It's a lovely colour combo, really. That sort of cream over caramel. And again in here, we've got four tiny little holes in the dash where it's obviously had, a, I would guess, a cradle for an old-style car kit fitted. Um, but again, I'm sure you can either replace that bit of trim or, to be fair, it's, it's barely even noticeable. We will detail all the paperwork and history we've got with it. Go through the full mileage everything. It does have a proper body coloured factory hardtop, which I will stick on shortly. Have a look at that. It has the wind deflector, which is a nice addition, and it does have a matching, genuine tonneau cover. I haven't fitted it very well, to be fair. Um, have a look in the boot. It does come with uh, the toolkit with a jack, the blanket there if you uh, if you want to use it for a picnic. But other than that, not a huge amount to note in there. You can't really get at the engine to see it. Pull that lever for the front. Like I say, it was driven to us. I have done it. Had it I have had it down the road. It drives well. Do a bit of awkward camera work while we put, lift this up. There we go. And again, in there is nice and clean. The inner wings are good. No rust or anything up here in there. The spare wheel doesn't look like it's ever been on the car before. All the inner wings are nice. Nice new battery on it. Everything as it should be. The inside of the bonnet's clean. The leading edge's got no rust or anything on it. We'll start it up. Like I say, it's been with us for a little while here. It drove to us, it's always started fine. Runs nice. It's the 1.8. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll stop the video. I'll take that tonneau off. Pull, that, pull the convertible top up. We'll have a look at that to start with. And then we'll have a look at the hard top. Okay, so we've got the hard top, or the convertible, sorry, the convertible top on. Nice and easy, mechanisms are all nice and loose. Secure the roof nice and tight. It's one person job, don't have to force it down or anything like that. Roof itself, the fabric's in good condition. It could do with a good clean, um, but this car does need, as you can see, a plastic rear window. Now, on a lot of these sort of little sports cars, this can be quite a big job. However, on this car or on the MG, it's Velcro down the sides and zip out across the top. I did have a quick look online and you can buy a new window section so it's just a case of taking that one out zipping the new one in and they're 80 quid so really not a big deal at all um, and it doesn't really matter whether it's got a small hole in it or it dripped all the way across like that what happens is especially when you've got hard tops you find people will store the car with the hard top on this gets folded up dries out and cracks two ways around that one store it with a soft top up or two if you put a towel in between the window when it folds over it's not as tight of a, a bend and it doesn't crack um, but again, it's 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 20 year old plastic. It's it's going to dry out in the sun and crack. That's what happens. But like I said, 80 pounds on the internet. They'll send you a new one out. Unzip that one. Zip that one in. Off you go. The owner of this car's only ever used it with a hard top on, so I'm not even sure he's ever seen it. Um, but yeah, nice. Other than that, the rest of the hard top is good. You can see on the inside, the uh, inside's nice on it. No sort of damp or mold or anything on it. Clips are nice and easy, they're dead simple to use. Uh, and what we'll do now is we will stop the tape again. I'll put the hard top on, we'll have a look at that. If anyone does want the link to the to the windows, if you do do buy the car, or you're just curious for your own, let me know. Um, and the office can send you the link just so you can have a look. There we go, body coloured hard top. Nice and easy to fit, two clips at the back, two clips at the front. 
nice and light could just about be fitted by one person it does have the heated rear screen as you can see the color match is good there's no real marks I mean, there's a little chip there normally what happens is these things get hammered in the corner of someone's garage but actually because this one's been on the car most of its life overall it's really good look at the headlining on it so again the headlining is nice flat bits down the side of the plug for the heat heated windscreen works or heated rear windscreen i should say yeah all good any questions give us a shout have a look on the website should be a lot more information on there on the history mileage mot that sort of stuff if you want to come and view it, we're open every day apart from Sunday for viewings up right up until the auction. And then we're open before the auction between 9 and 11. Any questions, get in touch.